Hello everyone, welcome back to Zor Pilgrimage of the Sloths. We're here with a brand new run. I had a good run going and then I left and came back and it apparently just disappeared. So, a bit sad, but what are you going to do? Let's see, there's nothing but food over there and I don't know why I'd spend that much food as a resource to go and get that and come back. We've got overgrown weeds, overgrown weeds, overgrown weeds, stick, stick, dead tree. Well, we're going to have to get up here then. Just two little enemies. Let's motivate. Can't get up any higher, so we'll stay there. And if we want to get up, we're going to have to use that same elevator. So we'll move around to here. Now, we have climbed up. What I want to do is attack and move away. So we're going to have to do that with lazy. Two actions. One to hit. One to step back. And here, we'll actually use the harvest to harvest the dead tree. Get some sticks. They're both going to move towards me. Can I attack you even though you are now lower than me? I can good. Uh, from here, just a simple walk. Gets the XP. They move towards us. With an explore, we can hit them and take a step back. Yeah. We can't step onto this. I want to keep the swipe to attack that, so we're just going to have to burn a... We're going to burn a lazy? I think we're going to burn a lazy, so that uses the cost of the card that doesn't force us to use it. That was unexpected. Luckily for us, motivation means we can go one, two, three. The enemies are cleared, now we just have to collect anything that we want before the round ends. Uh, I will walk onto here. We're going to draw a card. We've got six food left, so we'll explore, step to here, and step back. We can motivate for one, two, three. Yeah, we just need to get onto this tile that will let us discover a recipe. Sharp stick. And that is everything. The rest over here was just mushrooms, and mushrooms are not resources, they're food. So we can end our turn, make camp, go off, do some upgrades, and the rest of it. So, crafting possibilities. Small fire or planning. Still don't know what scouting level is. Let's go with small fire for now, plus two max food. And then cards. We have three XP to upgrade something. Let's upgrade and explore. Three choices of 11 possible. Nature walk. Three actions plus one action for each adjacent tree or water tile. Backtrack. Two actions if sloth is. Uh, two actions plus two more if you're at the edge of the map. Or climb, ignore terrain and height penalties. Let's try a nature walk. I'm still trying to take a variety of different things rather than getting stuck into one typical routine. Alright, we're starting near some water and we have nature walk. So three actions, that's going to be five actions, I think. Which is pretty damn good. This thing has two health. One, two, three, four, five. The five actions. Move, move, attack for one, attack for two. Incredible. We've got a branch stump where we can harvest a branch. Some food over here. There's a recipe back there. That turret is going to trigger for one damage and rotate. A couple of sticks I'd like. Another recipe. And we've got these two tough bugs to fight. Over here, though. 
I think I'm just going to take a step towards this tree. They can move two and they can fly. And the spikes are up. These guys are going to hurt us soon, which is not ideal. Let's take that. We'll eat the food first. Then we'll go off the XP. I probably shouldn't have worried about the food if I was getting as much food as I spent on the card in the first place. These guys have two actions, so they can move and attack, which is not ideal for me. The pesky bug has evasion, which means the first attack against it won't hit. This one has tough, which means it has one armor, so we have to hit the armor before we can get the health. Where do I want to be stood? The armored one goes first. At least I think it should. So I'm actually going to take one step back. They're going to move two to where I want them to be stood. Spikes go here. I'm just going to harvest this XP because our water will be refilled because we're stood next to a pond. It saves me moving there and moving back. Here, we can now play Motivation for three actions, which means we can hit them once for the first action, then hit them with two actions to hit them a second time. We are going to get hit here once, unfortunately. So, this thing moves twice. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to hit it this turn. And it's going to hurt us to do anything else with it. We're going to draw Nature Walk soon. But what I'm going to do is... Move over towards these mushrooms. I want to harvest this. But we should kill this first. They're going to hit us again. The turret keeps moving around. Right, we get Nature Walk, which gives us five actions. Because we're stood next to two pieces of water. There's a rock there as well. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. We get a shield recipe. Over here, we just need one action to kill them. So, a walk will do that for us nicely. The enemies are cleared. I still want these sticks, the branch, the rock, and the recipe. So from here, I'm just going to explore, move to. Here, I'm going to harvest that tree. We now have a branch. Uh, it's going to have to just be a walk. Motivation is great. That lets us walk three steps for free. From here, this thing can't hit us, which is ideal. Oh, there's grass over there. I completely missed that. I would like the grass. Uh, let's see. How much water do we have? We're full on water, so we can step here. Step back. Yeah, you're going to strike this direction first. We can walk to there for free, or safely. How many steps is it going to be? If we go the safe way, one, two, three, four, five, six. We have four food. With one motivation, we could get there. Nature walk will give us four actions because we're stood next to one pond. Gets us to the day fire. And we'll stand... Uh, should not have moved, but that turret's got to go around a long way first. So I just want to get over to this dry grass now. I'm going to 
pass the swipe because we'll automatically refill our water. We draw the swipe immediately, so we'll pass that refill on water ourselves. We have two food, so we can step forward one. We can burn the lazy card. I should have just played it because now we're at risk of the turret. Come on, motivation. Nature walk will hurt us for one. Let's just do that. Get some grass. We can play our... Oh, of course. Of course we draw it next. Let's make camp. Don't know if it's worth destroying the turrets or not. I don't know if we get XP out of them. I always just kind of forget you can hit them. Right, new crafting. We've got a rock, a branch, a grass. Cozy fire. Two max food and a deck slot. What about crafting? A sharp stick. Armor is ignored. A day fire. Aura, range two. Reduced food costs by one. Card does not reshuffle. I've never had a day fire before. So, in the spirit of trying new things, let's get a day fire going. Then... Can't do any of that for improving camp. We do have 4 XP though. So there's our day fire card. 4 XP. How does nature walk improve? Nature hike. Give sort of 3 actions plus 2 actions for each adjacent tree or water tile. That is a lot of actions if you spawn next to some water. If you don't then it's obviously lost on you. We could upgrade Swipe and Harvest and have them both be improved. But you know what? I'm going to go all in on Nature Walk. And just hope that we have maps that have water on them. Let's go to our next day. As I gently rehydrate. There is one water tile I can see. Two. Two water tiles. Over here, we have a tough bug and a spit bug and some tangled roots. Spit bug can attack at a range two with two actions. The rock grimp. Ah, oh, sun graves. A sun grave will create a ghost a spirit if it's destroyed and that spirit will kill us immediately if it touches us now interestingly these two enemies are stuck behind the grave there's a recipe glyph there i'm not really sure what to do about this we don't have any ranged attacks yet I wasn't quite anticipating this this early. I think what we're going to have to do is spend some movement to get to here and then just start attacking it. Fortunately, there's nothing windy or stuff that's going to force us to be moved. So, reactions. One, two, three. Over here. They can move one and attack us at range two, which is not ideal. We can throw a stone. Attack target for range three for one damage. Now, obviously, if we keep the stone, we can use it in crafting later on and stuff. But I think... This spit bug range in particular is worth the cost of the card. These two are just going to kind of lap around one another without anywhere more specific to go. Going to hit this for one. Yeah. They've got two actions. That's one to move, one to attack. So I'm going to play lazy. Pick up these sticks. 
and hit this wicker. Then he's got to spend two to get next to me. There's day fire. Aura, range two, reduce food costs by one. Alright, I will play that there. So, explore is two actions for one. That means we can hit them. And then take a step back. These guys are going to continue just idling around. That didn't go how I expected it to. Uh, motivation for zero. Motivation costs zero anyway. Um, we can't hit this and attack that in the same turn, unfortunately. So I'm actually going to play the walk card first. Let them come closer to us. Then do more attacking and moving. Yeah, a walk for zero. Let's just hit that. This fire is incredible. Just for letting us get stuff done. Uh, that ripening grub would be great as well. Right, we have two water. So I'm actually going to... Actions one. Spit eye. Does two damage with knockback, I think. Just spend one water to do that. Over here, we're reasonably full on stuff. These cost two to enter. So if we motivation, we can go one, three, and then get to this recipe. This guy steps closer to us. These ripening grubs, I think the, it just flew away. Right, so we're going to play Explore. Hit it once, take out some of its armor, and then take a step back. Here, we will just walk onto the recipe. Learn about clubs. They take a step to us. Um, I want two because I want to hit them and then retreat a bit. This is three actions. I don't want three actions yet, so I'm going to hit them once and then take a step back. Here, we can get five actions for being next to the pool of water, which is incredible. So that's two... I might just go for the stick. Three, four, five, three, four, five. It works out the same. We get another branch. Oh, they broke off fire. I didn't realize that was a thing they were capable of doing. All right. I still want to get the nuts over there. I still want to get this over here. They have to move closer to us. So I'm actually going to play one to break this. See what's inside. Some sticks. Yeah. I'm going to... What am I going to do? I don't want to be hit because that's two damage. Quite a lot compared to our max health at the moment. Um, branch for two damage... I'm going to harvest this ripening grub so it refills our water immediately. Then the two of us between us are going to be able to take this thing out. Um, we have to shuffle before we can see nature walk again. Nature hike. Uh, if we motivate, we can hit them once, and then go two, three, and be ready to harvest this. And we're full on water to do that. So that sounds good to me. Um, I will gather stuff as I go. Then here, five food. 
I will take a walk first. Here we can explore, grab the eye, walk towards that stone. Uh, this sucks because we have no movement cards. I want to keep the eye as a supply. I can take one damage by discarding the swipe instead. I don't love it, but it is what it is. We're ready to harvest over there. Over here, motivation is great. We'll go one, two. Then we need two actions to get into those roots. Here. We'll play lazy and grab these sticks. Uh, Tangled Roots, two actions to enter. Can't even play Harvest. Gonna have to play Grim Pie. I don't love it, but I really want the nuts. Harvest this. That's a booster. New card. The strange markings of the glyph excite the sloth's neurons. Reflect. Give sloth one action. Plus one to XP gained while moving. Second wind. Sloth recover... Give Sloth two actions, recover one random exhausted card into the deck. Scrounge, give plus one to food gained when entering a tile. Do we have any cards that exhaust? We do our fire exhausts, so I think second wind. Sounds like a good plan to me. Up here, we need to get through these so we can play that. Come to here. That should have been our fire, yep. Nature hike, walk. It's all much of a muchness now because we don't need these mushrooms particularly. So let's just do that. Up here. We're going to nature hike two. Oh, this is a nut tree. It counts as a tree. That's so good. That gave us a load of extra actions because we played our nature card. We'll walk through here. So I just want to harvest this nut tree now. Motivation. We'll play that because the other guy can't harvest the tree with a motivation card. We will put out a day fire here. We can just play a lazy. There's harvest. We can finally... Ah, oh, I shouldn't have made... It's going to cost me one first damage to harvest this. Uh, we can discard a swipe. Then up here, we have enough food to play Nature Hike. Get these nuts. And make camp. Alright, I'd like a way to get some health back. But these things happen. Crafting. Can I make... Oh, we don't have a recipe for a nut flinger yet. Clubs. Evade is ignored. Cozy fire, plus two max food. Planning, plus one hand size. I'm going to take the plus one hand size. That's going to be nice. Board supply, gain recipe for bandage. Woodshed, gain one sticks each time we camp. Well, this is only the second time we've camped, I think. So a woodshed might not be a bad thing. But bandages also... A good thing that we don't have the extra grass to make any bandages yet. But let's make a woodshed. Get one stick every time we camp. I don't want a walking stick particularly, I don't think. Manage our deck. We've got four XP to spend. Nature hike is completely upgraded. We can't do anything more with it. So... What do we want to upgrade? Second wind, how do you improve? Dig deep. 
Give Sloth one action. Recover one random exhausted card into the deck. Uh, but this does not exhaust. So we could play our exhausting fire as many times as we want. Or we could upgrade both of our walks. Since we have the fire that we can build to discount the cost of our other cards, I think upgrading both of our walks is not a bad plan, or at least one of them, for two. And then... How about we upgrade our attack? Spin. Attack all targets in range one for one damage. Yell. Adjacent enemies flee three tiles and miss next turn. Punch. Adjacent... Target attack adjacent target for two damage and knock back one tile. Fear is interesting. It's not too often that we're surrounded by enemies just because I try and kite away from them. Adjacent enemies flee three tiles. Yeah, go on then. Give me a fear. And we will carry on our next day. The damp hive. So I recently got, to, I think, the fifth encounter, and then saved, and then quit, and came back, and my save game wasn't there. A bug, I think. I don't think I screwed up in the process, although I could have. But who knows? Let's see how far we can get in at least one recording session. Bug nest occasionally spawns a guard bug. Bug Nest occasionally spawns a guard bug, and there's one back there as well, occasionally spawns a guard bug. Rotating turret, player trigger, detects for one damage at range three. Dead tree, harvest for sticks. Stone pile, harvest for stone. Mending glyph, pond, grass, sticks. Right, what are we going to do from here? Probably just explore. We don't have a harvest. I already want to go as quickly in this direction as possible. And until we get our fireplace, we can't postulate on where to put it. One, two, three. We don't want to be stood in front of this fixed turret when we get there. Loses food value over time until gone entirely. Alright, let's motivate. We'll destroy this. And then go two, three. I assume that's just good luck on our part that they didn't spawn bugs that turn. We're going to explore two to here, ready to harvest that next time. And up here. I'm going to move with lazy, costing three into this food patch of four. And this is two away, this is two away, so there's no more reason for me to be here than there. But we'll just end our turn. Oh, we're getting... Oh, there's one flying insect. Uh, nature hike. This is not a tree. So I'm just going to harvest these stones. We can now throw that stone at our convenience if we wish. I'm going to nature hike three actions. I want that fur and we need to get on to destroying these bug nests. So let's go one, two, a hiking staff and three. All right. 
Our luck is running out. Oh, you're kidding me. This stone pile still exists. I can't walk over it. That is upsetting. I can throw my stone at this. I don't really want to. I'm just going to walk here. I would love a day fire, but I really need to kill some of this stuff, I think. Interesting that Yell has no cost. Which is nice, but... I should really play the day fire before playing second wind when the day fire would then come back. Oh, this is tough. We're going to get hurt a lot. Oh, I can't play it on the empty room, so we have no tile to play that on. Fine. You die. And eat this food. You move towards me. You move around. No spawn, no spawn, no spawn. Shoot sticks. All right. We well, can put a day fire here. But then I have to walk all the way around it, which is not ideal. We only have one water. I could throw a stone at a bug. I could exhaust my yell card. Just as a card to get rid of. I don't love it, but, you know, these things happen. This is three actions. One. Let's go to three. We'll hide in this grass. Whilst we're hidden in this grass, we can't be attacked by stuff. So we can just lay into that uh, guy at the top. Here. I'd like to get to those bugs. But we're just going to have to attack them. They fly towards us. Four health is like so much. We're going to have to play lazy over to here. Oh, I didn't think that through at all. Excuse me? Was I just attacked? Hidden from enemies... Oh my god. Hidden from enemies while entered. I'm sure I was just attacked though. Uh, let's see here. We're going to have to motivate so we can kill that, get some food, get some more food, fill up our water. I really just want to get one of these spawners down in an ideal world. We here are going to explore. Attack you. Step to here. We're going to get hit at least once. Yeah. We are not concealed. For us, I'd love a day fire, but we're moving towards mushrooms, so not as big a deal. She might die. 
He's having a real bad time. Right, from here. I have to start hitting these things. I don't understand why this grass isn't doing anything. There's so many insects now. Like, this is unbelievable. Nature hike will give us five actions. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Please don't spawn anymore. I can't handle more stuff. All right, motivation is solid because we have no food. We're gonna go there and there because then we can harvest the food next to us. Except we're going to die up there before we get to do anything else, aren't we? So we have to play Harvest That. This hits us. And we are not hit again. So close. Come on. We have two food. And it's over. I'm mad that I wasn't hidden in the grass like I expected to be, but these things happen for now. Thank you guys ever so much for joining me as I continue to try and get better at this game. If you have any questions or comments about anything you've seen, you can ask down below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.